Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome to yet another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Taskmaster video. Now, today's challenge is, um, well, it's interesting. So, <laughs> I've been fiddling around with the construction of this for quite some time, um, uh, and I've kind of jumped in at the end of my construction. So, basically, we had a budget of $100 million to produce a new class of ships for the US Navy, at the end of the Second World War. Um, and these were to be all-purpose multi-mission ships, kind of the backbone of the post-war uh, US Navy. Um, and our main opponents is, of course, going to be the Soviet Navy. So we're going up against a Soviet fleet consisting of a battleship, a battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, and six destroyers. Um, so we need a ship class that can take on all of those threats. And we can divide up that 100 million however we like. Um, and I've chosen to split it into three. So I have three of these ships. And this is a light cruiser. And I ended up choosing the light cruiser because... Um, well, basically that, that is what became the backbone <laughs> of most modern navies following the Second World War. It was like... Ships around this kind of displacement, 10,000 tons or so, or, or a little bit less. Um, for instance, an, uh, this is about the same displacement as a modern Arleigh Burke or um, Ticonderoga class kind of ship in the US Navy. Um, and I kind of imagine that in the future they chop off the A and B turrets and the uh, X turret over here. Um, probably take, maybe put a little gun up here, move this it to there and then stick a load of anti-ship missiles on it but what i've done is i've gone for some six inch guns loads of torpedoes of a bunch of different sizes so i've got fives twos and singles uh, no underwaters um we had to have very long range uh, this was a requirement but we could choose any class we wanted so i have no idea what any of the other uh, youtubers have done and this week we are joined by a new member of the Taskmaster group, um, and that is very exciting. So welcome to Spartan Elite 43. He's done mainly um, World of Warships content uh, over on his YouTube channel, but um, you should definitely go uh, have a look at his Ultimate Admiral stuff, because it's really good. Um, give him a subscribe and uh, a like and a follow if you don't already. Right. Um, that's pretty much the setup. I get points for sinking ships. I'll just grab my uh, trusty pen and paper so that I can keep track of that. Um, and basically how it works is uh, the battleship, I believe, and I'll just pull up the points before I forget them. So the one battleship is worth a mighty 20 points. The battle cruiser that the enemy has is worth 8 the heavy cruisers, of which there are two, are worth four points each. The enemy light cruisers are worth two points, and the destroyers are worth one, uh, meaning that I can get 50 points if I sink everything. Uh, but if I lose any of my ships, because I've gone with light cruisers, I lose four points for every light cruiser that is sunk. So I could potentially end up with a score of minus 12. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Basic idea behind the class was um, six inch guns to shoo away enemy destroyers, maybe do a little bit of damage to enemy light cruisers, whilst sending boatloads of torps um, at the enemy in an attempt to <laughs> um, take out some of the uh, more valuable ships. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Okay, that battleship is armed to the teeth. Pause. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. The <laughs> we're sailing away from the enemy, which is, uh, well, not the worst thing in the world. Another reason I went for light cruisers, I know these aren't the fastest ships in the world, at least by Ultimate Admiral standards, but 33 knots is about right for um, most kind of second half of the 20th century warships. Um, I'm going to do my standard of detaching everybody. Right. Uh, first thing, 
Uh, I'm going to do is have a look at the enemy fleet. Now, uh, Patreons may well uh, recognize the ship that I built, the Portland class, because I did post a little sneak preview um, before uh, recording this. So, um, okay. Uh, my Patreons will have a little clue about what's going down. So, um, okay, that looks like a heavy cruiser, maybe? Oh, no, I think those are the enemy light cruisers. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, they've got a load of guns. At least they're at the back. Um, their destroyers seem to be out front. That's annoying. And I think these are the capital ships. This is the battle cruiser and then here we have the battleship okay so my rear ship what's your range is the honolulu cool name um what's the range to the battleship there 10 okay so you are in range for torps so the honolulu i want you to come about and fire everything i want you to smoke up the Montpellier, oh no, the Portland's next. Um, I'm just going to get you guys to head away for now. Uh, and I just want you to head that way. Okay, and play. Now, I've gone for different torp launches, basically, so that I can continually send out a bunch of them. Oh, wow, the Honolulu's fired all of his starboard torpedoes. All right, let's very quickly tack to um, the other side and see if we can't get the port torps off as well. Uh, and I'm not actually expecting to hit the battleship necessarily because those destroyers will spot that those torps are incoming. Um, oh, and it looks like uh, the uh, Montpellier has uh, taken a, 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 a little... Uh, jaunty shot there but probably at this destroyer so those are going nowhere that was stupid of me never mind and the, uh, yeah one of the main reasons I went for light cruises is they can smoke themselves up and that just gives me just a little bit more survival survivability um, against all those guns that are firing at me and I'm kind of hoping that the 6 inch guns are able to take out enemy destroyers um, so I don't have to worry too much about enemy torps. Um, yeah, there go the, some of the port ones anyway. Okay. I think we find a reasonable number of torps at this stage. Uh, I just want to get well clear. These are just standard torpedoes, by the way. I haven't gone for anything fancy. Uh, and just kind of hoping that we hit something with all this. Well, okay, so the enemy is detecting torps. That's actually later than I thought they would. Being a lot of fire still. I need to keep a beady eye on uh, what happens here. Uh, which ships get sunk, if any, are important. Sounds like the, the AI is bumping into each other. I don't mind. Okay, looks like we're going to get some hits. It's good. Now, this is a heavy cruiser, I think. Taking a hit there. Yeah, I think that's a heavy. Oh, my goodness. That was a, oh, well, bonus. Okay. Mm, okay. Torpedo hit on the battle cruiser there. Torpedo hit on the other heavy cruiser. And given that what happened to the last one, that might actually sink her. And we're still heading away. Yeah, they did respond quite quickly 
Uh, I think that, yep, yeah, that's the other heavy cruiser gone. Um, they have responded pretty speedily to those torps being launched. Um, now, are they chasing me down? Kinda. Okay, now, uh, who has a full complement? The Portland. Okay, Portland, come about. Uh, not that way. Other way. Guys, you can uh, fall back until you have all of your um, torps ready. Uh, they're still firing on the Honolulu here, uh, who's just taken a hit. But they'll probably switch fire to the Portland soon enough. Now, Portland, I want you to target something way in the back. Uh, what's going to be a good target? That's uh, Light Cruiser. That's the enemy battleship. That's the one I want you to go for. Looks like she did take a little bit of damage. And as soon as she's in range, we'll do the same trick of kind of jinking. Although I do need to keep a close eye on those enemy destroyers because they are now in range of our six inch guns. Now, I'm not expecting anything great out of the guns. Um, really, aside from just kind of keeping the destroyers and light cruisers at bay, uh, maybe pinging a little bit of damage off them. If we manage to take out the heavier ships, then I'll, I'll maybe try and uh, close and take out the uh, lighter ships. Um, but that is risky. So what's the range on these again? 15-3. Okay, so we're nearly in range. Um, who are they firing at? I can't see who they're firing at yet. Looks like they switched fire to the Portland. Which they have. So, smoke. Oh, just took a hit there. Little one, though. Oh, no, 7-inch shell, actually. Did surprisingly little damage. Um, the ship isn't particularly up armoured, but we are using um, the uh, heaviest. Um, okay, so we're in range of the the torps and the battleships heading that way. So harder starboard. You may fire torps when you have a good solution. Looks like the guns are firing at the destroyers, which is good. A pathetic chance to hit, but to be expected. I do have the best sonar and radar on these ships. Um, again, kind of thinking multi-roll uh, with that. Hopefully we can spot enemy torps if they fire the things. Um, doesn't look like any of them have at the moment. Uh, although they are in range. Now, we're going to have the old uh, AI refuses to fire torpedoes problem, I'm sure. But hopefully, we'll get on with that. It is a nice looking ship, if I say so myself. I can just imagine this being all this stuff on the stern being removed and a helicopter landing deck being put on and uh, kind of the superstructure being used to ow how's anti-ship missiles will you please just fire the things there we go wonderful and come about and fire the port side as well please Oh, Bolton just took a hit there. What happened? An 8-inch from the battleship. Okay, the Honolulu is reloaded, and so is the Montpellier. So I will order both of them to turn around. And once we get a bit closer, I'll uh, choose their targets. Right, Portland, round you come. I think the enemy battleship is still in range. Yep. 
Sounds like she's firing the other side now. Maybe. Might be a bit too much roll. Wait for the ship to stabilize. <laughs> that's enough to give you kittens. Yep. And that's the port torpedoes away. Run away! <laughs> yeah, in come the Honolulu on Montpellier. Good. Now, let's follow our fish. Uh, Honolulu uh, off. Montpellier off. So that you don't waste anything. Right, where's the first set? Here they are. So all this lot of uh, scrambled to avoid. Oh, Portland's taking damage now. Kirsch is uh, maybe taking torps for um for the battleship there, but uh, that's a heavy uh, light cruiser sunk. And where's the second set? There. Okay. Now let's have a look at the uh, George Oi Pomdentists. No, I can't. No, it's not even a good pronunciation. Slow. Standard bulkheads. Anti torp. Three. It's not terrible. And anti flooding, two. We're just going to clip her with one. Not too bad, though. Damage her engines and a rudder. Means the Montpellier. And I want you to target the battleship, please. And the Honolulu, I want you to do the same. Now, I do lose four points if... Um, if my ships are sunk. Uh, per ship. Um, so I really don't want to lose any of my ships. So the Portland is damaged. She does have a load of torps left though. So it's tempting. Oh, we might get another hit here. Um, so it's tempting to just order her to, to retreat um, for now. And we'll just see if we need her later on. Oh, wow, okay, that's flooding way more than I thought. Oh my goodness. She's down! Okay, there goes the battleship. Right. Uh, Honolulu, pause. I don't want... Oh, you just did. What did you fire at? A destroyer. For no reason. God damn it. I want you to target that ship. And I want you to... No, not that way. <laughs> that would be bad. Uh, I want you to come about like so. And the Montpellier, you have not fired. Good. Good man. I want you to fire that battle cruiser, please. Just whenever you get the chance. Uh, reasonably fast, 34 knots. Um, but who knows? We might we might pick up some of the smaller picket ships. Looks like the Varag and the Voyoski here are closing on the Honolulu. I'm going to pop smoke on the Honolulu. Uh, don't think the Montpellier is under fire at the moment. This is also my pot and pie idea. It's like, if I go with just one ship, it means the AI can focus all of their fire on that one ship and just focus it down. They don't have to... I know the AI doesn't have to think such, but, um, like, there's no... There's no, like, real dis decision in uh, air quotes. Um, that the thing has to make. Okay, I think we just slammed more torps into the poor battleship over there. Right, Honolulu, you're going to fire your uh, second set? I'm not even sure you're in range. How far away is the battle cruiser? 18. Yeah, get closer. Stop wasting your torps. Okay, and what's the range from the... Oh, the Montpellier! Ah, avoid! Okay, I think you are actually avoiding. 
the range from the Montpellier to the battle cruiser. 19, yeah. So we need to get much, much closer. That is fine. Yeah, looks like the Honolulu is the next one under fire. Which is fine by me. Need to get in range. 15, 9. 15, 4, 15, 3, 15, 2. 14. Okay, that should be close enough. And she's moving away from the Montpellier, so I'm going to have to move in. Right, Honolulu, would you kindly fire? Not quite vulnerable at the moment. So please just shoot the damn things. Ow! Well, they must be on target. They are. There we go. Okay, torps away. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> and the Montpellier. 17-7. Uh, I'm wait until I'm at about 14 or so. Oh, we actually got some hits on that destroyer. Amazing. Like the whole is taking fire. Oh, is that a six inch hit on them? Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping the guns would be able to do. I'm about Montpellier. Is uh, you're about to take fire, so smoke up. Sorry for the pop on the microphone there. Mm. <sighs> Aggressive. Get those things in the water. Yesterday, please. There goes to destroy it. She just made me move in too quick. I mean, we should be in range. Maybe the angle's bad. Uh, main guns. I'll get that light cruiser. And the secondaries. Just want you to fire your torps, my friend. If you don't, you are quite likely to die horribly. Are we closing or getting further away? Getting further away. Okay, that's probably the problem. Let's just keep uh, keep ourselves moving around. And another option is to launch against one of these light cruisers, because we are very close to them. But the light cruisers are not worth a lot of points. Whereas that battle cruiser is. Uh, where are you going? Torpedoes you can target there, and I want you to save. And I want them off. And now retarget that one. Wiggle that way. Save. There's torps going everywhere. Right, Honolulu, you have reloaded. Come about. Oh, she's missed some torps without me paying any attention to her, which is pretty impressive, actually. 
Right, Portland, you could be useful, actually. You can come back. Um, and you can switch to save. All those torps are going to miss, because of course they are, but they might head out and uh, cause problems for the battle cruiser. was my thinking. I want you to retarget the battle cruiser while you're at it. And it has caused those light cruisers to kind of think about what they're doing. What are they arm with, by the way? 7-inch. Meh. Nasty. Oh, we do have uh, some torps left. Are they port or starboard? Well, we find them anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like single tubes, because they actually reload <laughs> semi quickly. Oh, go on, clip him, clip him, clip him. Ah! <gasps> Sinks! Another light cruiser. And the other one has completely avoided it. Don't crash into the Burning Hulk, please. Montpellier smoke. Yeah, their light cruisers don't even have torps. And the destroyers have all kind of wandered over there, which is fine by me. Come on. No, don't ram them. Don't, don't, don't ram. Don't. Oh, okay. You're just going to ram them, aren't you? Well, they're going to ram me, one of the two. Ow. Hey, he got it worse. <laughs> Our double torps are ready, though. You may fire when ready on the Mikhail Kutsov. That's a reasonable likelihood of hitting there as well. Oh, I think we fired the fives as well. Didn't quite mean for you to do that. And that's a total miss. It's a waste. Oh, crap. Uh, Montpellier is turning. I don't think that's going to be enough uh, to get out of the way of that. Actually, just, yeah, no, 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 no. Keep turning. More in front of you. Alright. Retarget that goddamn battle cruiser. Dun, 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 dun. Run amid chips. And cut inside. Okay. Right, where are the others? Honolulu, sailing up. Portland, sailing up as well. Okay. Well, Pelly is doing an outstanding job at the moment, I have to say. Close in on the Kurutsk. Because we only have the single tubes ready. Now, she does have a reasonable amount of secondary armament, so do need to be slightly careful. Oh, more torps randomly flying about. And the destroyers, probably. Right, actually. Let's see if we can't hit that destroyer. With the guns. Okay. That salvo, I think, avoided. Now, can we get the starboard tubes on target? Please? Ow, 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 ow. Aggressive. Just fire the things. There we go. Two ups away. Uh, just keep going the way you're going, I think. Right. On Lulu. 
12, 6. Portland, 19, 5. Okay. Montpellier is taking a bad, bad hit there. She is drawing fire. So probably worth... If we can encourage the destroyers to launch torpedoes in this, this general direction. How long till she can smoke up again? Ages. Oh dear. Hmm. Tell you what. Screw you. <laughs> See if we've got any of the uh, port torpedoes loaded. Oh, we do. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I'll give him something to worry about. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, that's making the destroyer turn away. Which let us get a decent hit on her. Montpellier is almost dead. In fact, I think she is dead. Yeah. Goodbye, Montpellier. So I lost one of my heavy cruisers. You did well, Montpellier. You did very well. Okay, Honolulu, you are taking fire. Smoke up. You in range yet? Actually, we have fish in the water, so probably wait to see if they actually do anything. Looks like the Kutsk has spotted them and is moving away. So she's going to miss the majority. Possibly all, because there's a gap. That's somewhat disappointing. We'll do that. We'll come on this tack. And then we'll go and ring the Portland up as well. Seven four. Starting to take damage. I really need you to fire now. I know I've got you on save. Please don't make me go down to like normal or whatever. Normal. There we go. All torps away. All right. Turn about. Fire the port torps as well. Uh, starboard torps, even. And I think that's all of them away. Not 100%, actually. Yeah, there we go. All of them away. And... Ooh, crud. Okay, they've uh, come that way, haven't they? Okay, move this way, then. Right, and the Portland, how are you doing? Right, keeps just steaming in. And let's see how the Kutsk deals with the torps that we just fired at there, if I can see where they were. Looks like she's just turned and completely missed them. Damn it! Oh, okay, I forgot to turn Portland's torps off. Um, or I forgot to retarget them anyway. That was very stupid of me. Although it does look like the Kurtz has taken damage. Yeah, one of the torpedoes, one of our uh, torps clipped her at some point. Now, the Honolulu has no ammunition. Smoke up and just retreat. All down to you, Portland. Oh, there goes a light cruiser. That's a bonus. Which one was that? That one. What happened to you? Oh, don't don't bump into yourselves, chaps. I said don't. Oh, Jesus. So what happened to you? Oh, uh, the the Portland sunker. Oh, nice work. Okay, smoke. 
get really close, not give the, uh, oh, it looks like we're firing anyway. Okay, off. <laughs> Not hitting them. <gasps> ah, crap! Crap on a crap stick. Well, he we just killed the destroyer. Bonus. Not worth it if we take a tour. Oh, I didn't think they had any left. I should have checked. Ow. Oops. Right. Well, that was a fail. Right. Honolulu, just... I'm I'm retreating you. Because we can't take on that battlecruiser, which isn't going to get hit. Well, I might get hit by something. Oh, we might get it. But I'm not going to try and dance with those. Oh, we missed. Right in front. Oh, that's so annoying. No way we can take on that... Um, Uh, battle cruiser at all um, so I just need to get away <laughs> as best I can it was worried about happening because our guns are not particularly great duel with this light cruiser a little bit hang on there is another way because the scenario doesn't say that we can retreat. <laughs> so, <laughs> time, no guts, no glory. Uh, ship's pretty much lost anyway. Let's see if we can't make positive. <laughs> I'm going to start totting up my points while, while this happens. So, battleship, that was worth 20 uh heavy cruisers worth eight each so that's 16 light cruisers were worth two and i sent three so that's six points and destroyers worth one so that's two points and i've lost two of my light cruisers which is minus eight at the moment although it's probably going to be minus 12 in just a moment so oh we've got smoke available go for it quite fun actually this duel I mean they're both as badly hurt as each other so goodness knows who's going to win this ow okay now now I'm taking real damage there now the battle cruiser's getting involved what's she got anyway 14 inch Ammo detonation! Ha! Take that! Ah, yeah, we got another light cruiser! Okay, awesome. A little bit of a, a love tap at the end. <laughs> and there goes the Honolulu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, now. Let me uh, tot all this up. So, we destroyed... Oh, sorry, that's really loud. Uh, yeah, that should fix it. Okay, so we destroyed... Um, 20 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2. Uh, so that is 46 points in kills. Minus 12 points in losses, giving us a total score of 34. 
out of 50. Oh, dearie me. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, make sure to go and watch uh, all the other guys um, and how they did. I have no idea, genuinely no idea. Um, and I'm really hoping that everybody's done something slightly different. So I know I will be going and watching everything. So make sure you go and watch Stealth's um, attempt, History Guy Gaming, Every Day is Different, and uh, new to Taskmaster as well. Make sure you go and check out Spartan Elite 43 as well. Okay. Um, anyway, that was that was loads of fun. Um, I do do um, Ultimate Admiral every Wednesday over on Twitch. Um, if you're joining live, you can ask me to do stuff. Um, and as well, if you have a look at my Patreon and join my Patreon, you get sneak peeks at what I'm doing for Taskmaster. And as well, um, you do get access to exclusive content, um, various other rewards. And most importantly, if you have a Ultimate Admiral scenario you'd like me to do, then that's a pay uh, I give priority to my Patreons. So thanks very much for watching and bye-bye.